Today we're going to look at a series of wet chemical tests to identify unknown organic compounds. These tests are really traditional and they can tell us about what functional groups are present and also what elements are present in a compound. The first thing to look for is whether a compound is a solid or a liquid. For solids and liquids, you can often tell by the colour what sort of functional groups are present. Ketones, diketones, quinones and conjugated species all can be yellow, orange or red coloured. Phenols are usually quite dark coloured, like this one. Sometimes though, organic compounds go off in storage and they become quite dark as they oxidise, so you can't always tell exactly from the colour. Another thing that you can do is identify the odour of the compound. And you don't want to take a very big sniff of organic compounds, but if you use the wafting technique and just slowly inhale the odour of the compound, things that smell really fishy quite often are amines, and things that smell really pleasant can be esters. The first step in this um, test is to determine the melting point or the boiling point of the compound. If you have a liquid, carry out a boiling point analysis, but if you have a solid, do a melting point analysis. The melting point will always be a range and the size of that range will tell you how pure your compound is. So it should be within two or three degrees from when it starts melting to when it finishes melting to tell us that we have a really pure compound. The first step in doing a melting point is taking a small amount of your sample and placing it onto a watch glass. The compound needs to be dry to do a melting point, so if it's a little bit clumpy, put it in the oven for about 10 minutes before you start. Take a capillary tube. These tubes are open at one end and closed at the other. And just very gently tap a little bit of the compound into the tube. Bang it on the bench to make it fall down. And keep doing this until you've got about three millimetres of compound in the bottom of the tube. If you put too much in at once, you'll end up with a big amount of compound stuck at the top of the tube. You might like to try to flick it to make it go down, but if it really won't go down, you'll need to start again. So the melting point can be used to tell you what something is, but also how pure it is. The melting point range of a pure substance is between one and three degrees Celsius. Um, you want to take the temperature just when it starts melting and when it's completely melted, and that's the range. For things that are impure, the melting point range will be up to 10 degrees. You'll probably find with this test, because you've got no idea what the melting point's going to be, that you'll need to do it a couple of times because you'll miss it the first time. Make sure when you're reading the melting point at the melting point range that the temperature's only going up very slowly, about 2 to 3 degrees per minute.